Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today is a special tutorial. Uh, today we're going to upgrade our project to Unity 3. So if you haven't heard yet, Unity was, well Unity released their latest version which is Unity 3 and you should just head on over to their website and go pick it up. And just in case for some reason you don't know what the address is, it's just simply unity3d.com. So once you get that and you get it installed, uh, just go ahead and open it up on a Mac. If you hold Alt, and I believe on this, I believe it's the same on Windows, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you hold Alt down when you open up your program, you get this little project wizard, and you can create a new one or you can open up an existing one. Now we want to open up an existing one. Now I went ahead and backed mine up already. So if I stretch this out, you'll see I have a backup and a copy. I'm just going to open up the copy. Now it's going to ask me, if, is it okay to upgrade? You say yes. And then it's going to go and start importing the assets and it's going to upgrade. And if you look down here, you'll see the little white and blue wheel. And as it you know, upgrades, as it goes through everything, it's going to keep turning the little wheel. Now this might take a little while to do, depending on how many assets you actually have in the, the project. So I'll probably just pause this and come back once it's completely done importing the assets. Okay, so it's almost done. We're on the, the last asset, which is the Blender file for the human model that Gamer Dad donated. And it should be finishing this up any second now. And there we go. Everything's upgraded. If I look at the console, I'm getting an error right here. So let's open that up, Modern Development. As we watch Modern Development bounce around on my dock. And for some reason I've got a TRT in there. Now I might have actually put that in there. I'll have to check my backup. But if it's in there in yours, just delete it. I'm just going to shrink that down. That should get rid of the air. There we go. We just have the one warning about the variable we set that we just never used yet. So I'm going to go to the character generation screen first. Or scene, I guess I should say. I'm going to start it up. Uh, okay, these errors that I'm getting is because it's instantiating my my PC, which is broadcasting a message, but there's nothing to listen to it. Now that's not going to crash your game, and later on we will add some code so that this doesn't happen here. But huh, I just didn't realize I was floating around. But anyway, let's just go ahead and quickly spend all our our points. So anyone else out there really excited that Unity is finally out? Well, the third version. I've had it since beta 2 and it still seems pretty exciting. So I've got 60 health, 120 energy. Oh, I gotta name them. Hit create. I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. Yeah, everything seems to be fine there. So if I tab through, it says I'm missing a component. There's no mesh render attached to Mob Slug 2. So we'll open up that script. Ah, this is a very old copy of our backup, it seems. I don't have. Uh, the latest version of the script in this uh, backup. Well, I have actually gone ahead and upgraded the project earlier, and it opened fine. So I'm actually just going to open up the one that I've already upgraded, the one that I know is current. This one here. And go to scenes. Go to level one, start it up. And 
there we go. Now we'll have to adjust that font. Before we were using, uh, I believe the built-in font, which is Arial, and you still might have it. I've been playing around with it a bit and I've changed a few things. So let me just take a look and see what font we're using here. So yeah, I've switched over to Courier. Now the font system is handled a little bit differently in Unity 3. Uh, let me see, I'm just gonna bump the size up. Yeah, so I can't because bump the size up because it's not a dynamic font. So I'll have to bump up over here. So we'll just say three. I'm gonna start it up and just see what looks good. Four, five. I'll probably go out and find a new font and download it because it doesn't really look that good, but that's about the size I want. So it was 0.4. So I'm just gonna go over. 0.4. Scroll up a bit, hit the apply button, so all of them are effect affected. Start it up, and there we go. So when I originally updated my script, I had absolutely no errors whatsoever. But let me know if you have any trouble upgrading yours, your project. Uh, it might be a Windows only thing, in which case I'll go get the free version for Windows and I'll check it out there. But everything should be okay. Everything I've heard is good about it, so. Just let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.